I have videos for you, Stephen. I'm going to show you real quick. Somebody's been up here quite a bit doing some stuff. See, they've been wrapping the pipes with fiberglass, mastic. And fixing some of these broken tiles with pieces of tin. Uh, this broken tile, or the slip tile is just left here. That's completely showed through to the underlayment. That's the wood deck right there. That's a problem. And that is right above the skylight. So that's probably leaking all the way down. Um, I believe somebody's been trying to fix the skylight. You can look, they've been putting some mastic here. Skylight, you can see they've been moving some tiles. They've been gluing some tiles. They've been, looks like they've been installing some paper. It's literally just sitting there. Paper just done wrong. This is just sloppy work. It needs to be torn apart to be done. So we're here in uh, Lisa Viejo. So we're doing a flat tile roof repair. You can see Lisa Viejo basically has nothing but miles and miles of tiles. Flat roofing tiles. A little bit of S tile too. Oh look, look at somebody's playing around right over there. So um, this particular customer, they had a pretty good leak right below the skylight. We've had a couple roofers out here. And one thing you really gotta be careful of is when the roofer fixes your roof, they really, a lot of roofers like, uh, so this is your felt paper, and they wanna put felt paper just right on top of the old felt paper. And the thinking is, if you just put new felt paper over the old felt paper, it covers the hole in the old felt paper, and that's it. So they call these things a recover, or a layover, or a redo, or a repaper. So those are key words. As soon as your roofer starts saying recover, repaper, redo, layover, you know you're getting a cheap job. And when they recover it, though, if you just put new felt over this felt right here, you never see that. And that is what is underneath this. And that is why you have to tear out a much bigger area than they're probably telling you. Because look at this. This is crazy damage right here. This is, you don't want your decking. So your decking is supposed to be stronger than that. But it's not. So when they go over your roof, you have this. Plus you have to check the two by fours. They might be really damaged right here. You never know. So you want this stuff completely torn out. You can see we got a nice big area. And you can see we got, once you tear this off, they're probably gonna have leaks over here, over here. There's another good leak over here. They got all kinds of problems in this area. So we'll get it all torn up. And then um, we're gonna completely remove the skylight right here. And this is gonna get redone. All new saddle, all new tile pan, all new front. We'll get the lid off, we'll change everything. We'll change all this wood. Yeah, this is this is a mess, but this is what they look like from underneath. On top, it looks just like this. Can't even tell there's a problem. And you just know you got a major leak, maybe a small problem. And you start tearing it up, it starts looking like that. So make sure your roofer does not sell you the relay, the repaper, or tell you that he's got some uh, some synthetic felt paper that's really good and is going to last a hundred years or something, and he'll just install it right over here and magically all your mold problems and everything are going to go away. And no, that's that's just a scam. You have to tear this whole thing out right, do the whole thing, make sure the roofing is torn out past all these flashings. A lot of times they try to go around these and so they don't have to reflash them. These all have to be reflashed, rebibbed. Your shiplap down there, it's going to have to be redone. Plywood's going to have to be done. Maybe a rafter redone, flashing redone, felt redone. Deck all has to be removed, stripped, checked, all the nails repounded. It's a big job. There's no saving money on this. So once we do this, we'll go around. You can see I've been putting mastic where there's supposed to be cement. We'll put cement there. We got broken tiles. We're gonna replace these. We're gonna go through the whole roof. And by the time we leave here, there should be nothing left to do. So when you have the roofer out here to do this stuff, you should just have them do everything. Bring your roof all up to decent maintenance so you don't have to do anything else. Yeah, this is just a mess. And then have him go and not come back. Uh, more broken tiles. So that's our plan. Fix everything here, do it right, leave, and don't come back. And leave them with a roof that's going to probably last another 20 years. Or just tear it off, have them do a repaper, 
charge you 10 grand and then call me back in five years and we'll probably be back here doing the same thing anyways so um that's about it see you on the next one and um we'll follow up with a few photos you can see it's an absolutely beautiful day crazy beautiful southern california day you gotta love it